So I did a really, really good review of Iago. I think it was probably my best review yet. And when I went to check on it, none of the audio picked up at all. And I don't know why, but it means that now I have to redo Iago. And I'm, I'm really bummed, y'all. I'm so sad to have lost that. I was, I was clever and intelligent and funny. And I can tell you all kinds of things I was and you will never know better. You will never know if I was or not. Because it's just six minutes of me making faces and smelling things and not talking. Not that I usually have anything to say. But here's me starting over and doing Iago all over again. And I started it with a note that uh, Chloe says dirty smells like hyacinth. And I don't know what hyacinth is. Well, I know it's a flower, but I've never had hyacinth in a garden, so I don't know what it smells like. So I'll just trust her, and my final verdict will be that dirty smells like hyacinth, and I like the smell of hyacinth. So now on to Iago. Part two. Iago is described as malevolent, dark, and shadowy, sinuous black musk, wet leather, and vetiver. And I actually looked up what vetiver is. I, uh, because I didn't want to be stuck going, I don't know, I don't know what this smells like because I don't know what it is. And vetiver is a kind of grass. So if I get a grassy note, I'll know what it is this time. I'm really proud of, of remembering to do that. So here we go. In the bottle, I do get the wet leather, which I find strange because I don't know how you get the smell of wet leather in perfume. I have no idea how that happens. So I'm assuming magic. I'm assuming that perfume is made by magic at this point. Wet leather and and a grassy smell that I now know is vetiver. So that's what I'm getting in the bottle. And now I'm going to put it on and tell you what happens. Immediately on my skin when it's wet, I just, I just smell like wet leather. And it's kind of, um, like Dirty was a really light scent and crisp, but this is a dark scent, dark and deep and sharp, which is different from crisp. Somehow. I can't describe it. You'll have to take my word for it and assume that I know what I'm talking about, even though you and I both know that I don't. That dark and deep thing, I'm assuming, is coming from the black musk. And, uh, oh, reserve battery power. I hope I can finish this before my battery runs out. I'll try to go fast. As it's starting to dry, the grass is starting to come out. And I really like this. It's not, on me this is coming through as like a masculine scent. Like I would date a guy who smelled like this. Like this is a, this is a guy who has a motorcycle and he's kind of a bad boy, but he has a heart of gold. I wouldn't want to wear this, but I'd want to keep it around and and have it hold me and talk to it about my feelings. This review is starting to go to a strange place, so I'm going to try and get back on topic. Um, this is a review I, or <clears throat> this is a scent I really, really like, but probably would not want to wear. 
And the more it dries, the more the leather goes goes as to like the undertone and the vetiver comes through. It's getting really, really grassy. And um, but staying masculine for me. Also, I know Iago is a reference to Shakespeare, that Iago is a character in a Shakespeare play, and it's a play that I love, and Iago is a Shakespearean character that I love, but I am a product of my, of my uh, generation, so I still just keep expecting it to smell like a parrot. I can't help it. Blame Disney. It's not my fault. I want to say Yago is a winner, but I don't really know if I can classify it as a winner because, like I said, I don't want to wear it. I just want to keep it around and smell it occasionally. But in the end, I really like it. I really like Yago, and I hope Andrea does too. And I think I said her name right this time. Maybe. I probably didn't. But... We can hope. She'll let me know if I messed it up. 